The history of Pecorino Romano PDO begins with nature itself. Since prehistoric times, the land has offered up its resources to man, and pasture land afforded our ancestors the chance to develop sheep farming. Pecorino Romano has got a great story to tell. Its flavor is a 2,000-year-old love story involving nature and a passion for the good things in life. As per legislation, Sardinia, Lazio and the province of Grosseto are the areas where the production of Pecorino Romano PDO is allowed to take place from October to July. Pecorino Romano PDO is made exclusively from fresh whole sheep's milk, taken from sheep raised in wild and semi-wild pasture land. Ever since ancient Roman times, the Pecorino Romano tradition has been a tale of simple ingredients, natural harmony and respect for the land. As in centuries gone by, herds of sheep are accompanied from pasture to milking. Throughout its history, nothing has changed to alter the nature of Pecorino Romano although modern production processes have learned to take advantage of cutting-edge technology. Hand milking has been replaced by machines. Avant-garde facilities come complete with an innovative system that imitates lamb feeding characteristics and is highly beneficial for the sheep. Breeders then store the milk in modern refrigerated tankers. Today's conservation systems are able to guarantee the organoleptic characteristics of the milk during every phase of its transportation. The moment the milk reaches the factory site marks the beginning of an extensive series of tests. A representative sample of milk is taken from each tanker and is then tested for its suitability. Numerous company lab tests are carried out on each single sample to check on the presence of antibiotics and harmful microorganisms. Strict quality control of raw materials ensures maximum quality of Pecorino Romano PDO for consumers. At the same time, an independent lab also monitors the whole cycle of Pecorino Romano production, starting with tests on the milk that has been milked. In this case, the samples arrive directly from the breeders themselves and they are subjected to a wholly separate series of tests. These tests are carried out on a daily basis. At the same lab, the finished product is also tested thoroughly before being sold on the open market. Technological progress goes hand in hand with human experience. Once the cheese has finished maturing, it is subjected to a sensorial test and its chemical properties are analyzed as well. The chemical and microbiological analyses are a guarantee for the consumer. The control room of the factory sets in motion the unloading process. The milk is kept in storage tanks for as long as is necessary before being exposed to the system of transformation. The opening phase of transformation involves the thermization of the milk. In accordance with consortium directives, the milk is purged of harmful microorganisms. The milk's qualities remain almost unaltered by this process of thermization and product quality is guaranteed. The control room transfers the milk from the tanks to the coagulation vats. Every day, the cheesemaker prepares a natural culture of milk enzymes called Scotte Nesto, adopting a method that has hardly changed at all for centuries. Before actually being used, this culture is subjected to tests in the company lab. If the outcome of the tests is positive, the Scotta Nesto can be inoculated by the cheesemaker. 
ancient ritual gestures steeped in the history of Pecorino Romano adapt themselves to modern production processes. The cheesemaker prepares the lamb rennet paste, which, together with the scotte nesto, is the vital adjuvant in Pecorino Romano. The rennet comes from the stomach of unweaned lambs that are raised exclusively in the areas of production. It is used in quantities of between 35 and 40 grams per hectolitre of milk, but not before undergoing a process of salting, drying and lengthy seasoning. In this way, it acquires a very high level of bacteriological purity and optimal enzymatic concentration. The milk is coagulated at the same temperature between 38 and 40 degrees centigrade until the curd becomes hard after about 30 minutes. Once the curd has reached its optimal level of hardness, the cheesemaker starts the cutting process, reducing the substance into minuscule granules. A defining feature of Pecorino Romano is the specific enzymatic activity of the curd, linked to the typical microflora and those of the raw material. The dairyman heats the caseous mass to a temperature between 45 and 48 degrees centigrade, thus completing the technological phase known as the cooking of the curd. The control room then proceeds to unload the curd into the molder. The molder distributes the amount of curd necessary for the pressing process. On letting go, the operator allows blocks to be formed inside the specially prepared alimentary resin cylindrical molds. The whole cheeses are then transferred immediately to a warm and humid environment called the warm room for optimal acidification and removal of the ways. The whole cheeses are turned again and again to make them regular. This is still done by hand today, thus allowing the operator to actually see that everything is proceeding according to plan. A pH test verifies the correct amount of acidity. Then the whole cheeses are transferred to the alimentary resin cylinders. The operator deals with the paring down process, with excess cheese paste being carefully removed. 24 hours after the production process, the whole cheeses are subjected to a marking procedure. A special alimentary resin marking band engraves the place and denomination onto the outside of the wheel. This provides information about the area in which the cheese was made, the cheese dairy registration number and the year and month of production. 48 hours later, complete with its very own identity tag, the cheese is then subjected to a sorting process. Pecorino Romano Pidio is still dry salted by expert master salters. They ensure that the ancient and complex craft of salting remains alive to this very day. Salting plays a vital part in creating the unmistakable flavor that sets Pecorino Romano apart from other cheeses, and the master salters are as important as the cheesemakers in the production process. Technological progress has enabled sorting techniques to be reproduced mechanically and this has made the job easier. But for the process to be successful, it continues to be closely overseen at every step. The cheese goes through at least three stages of sorting, called salt rounds, before being cleaned and transferred to maturation rooms where it is stored at temperatures of 10 to 12 degrees centigrade to facilitate the process of maturing and seasoning. The legally required minimum period of maturation is 150 days.
Pecorino Romano has a long and wonderful history. Its tale stretches back across thousands of years and tells of love for nature, a tradition that is still very much alive and that grows stronger with each scientific and technological breakthrough. Hard work, dedication and respect for nature and its resources, all this to ensure the unique flavor. Once the maturation cycle is complete, the cheese is inspected by quality control experts who check the level of maturation to see if it is ready for the market. A tasty cheese, nutritious and steeped in history. This is Pecorino Romano PDO. For over 30 years, the consortium of producers has overseen and guaranteed each and every production phase so that consumers can be sure they have bought a quality product. Pecorino Romano PDO – The Future of Tradition